imagine you are diving in a pool and this is the surface of the pool. If you go 3 fourth of a meter below the surface, you could say that you are at minus 3 by 4 meters, right? But if you stand here at the surface and make a jump of about 3 fourth of a meter, you would say that you are at 3 fourth of a meter above in the air. Now, if you look at these numbers, we can say that they have a numerator which is 3 and a denominator which is 4. So, these are basically written in the form of P by Q. So, aren't these rational numbers? Because rational number can be expressed in the form of P upon Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0. So, we can conclude that a rational number can be positive and negative as well. Now, let us look at this rational number once again, minus 3 by 4. Over here, our numerator is a negative integer and the denominator is a positive integer. So, any rational number where the numerator is negative and denominator is positive is a negative rational number. Let us look at one more number, 3 upon minus 4. In this case, the denominator is negative. We always try to make the denominator positive. If I want to do that, I will multiply it by minus 1. But if I multiply it by minus 1, I will have to multiply the numerator with minus 1 as well. So, this becomes minus 3 upon 4. Now, again, numerator is negative and denominator is positive. So, this is again a negative rational number. We can say that a negative rational number is of the form minus p by q or p by minus q or we can also write it as minus of p by q. And the formal definition would be a rational number is negative if p and q have opposite signs. But there is a standard way of writing a negative rational number too. Okay, these are couple of examples of negative rational numbers. Now, let us look at the standard way. Standard form of a negative rational number is minus p by q. We will have to make sure that the denominator is always a positive integer. Okay. Now, let us look at this number, minus 4 by minus 5. Again, when the denominator is negative, we will aim to make it positive. So, for that, we will have to multiply and divide this number by minus 1. And this will then become 4 by 5. Both the numerator and the denominator are positive integers. So, this is a positive rational number. A rational number is positive if P and Q have same signs. Either both can be negative or both of them can be positive. Okay. For example, minus 2 by minus 3, 7 by 4 and so on. Now comes one important thing, 0. 0 is neither a positive nor a negative rational number. Why? Let us look at some examples. 0 by 3, 0 by minus 10, 0 by 40. All of these are equal to 0. Now, if you look at the numerator, which is 0, we know that 0 is neither negative nor positive integer. Denominator can be anything, a negative or a positive integer. But since this will result in 0, therefore, 0 is neither a positive nor a negative rational number. 